There you go. <clears throat> kind of got most of the stuff out of the shed. Still got to clean up this old uh, my stereo. Clean that stuff up. It's been a long time since it's opened. But hey, I'm just um, I'm going to. Uh, you might not find this interesting. Some of you might. But this guitar, I checked up as much as I could on the internet. And uh, first up, I thought uh, what I was led to believe on by what I read was it was made in Australia. Uh, I remember seeing that. And it's really it's not a bad thing, you know. I've uh, since I've um, you know, thanks to YouTube, I found up quite a fair bit of information. Um, uh, you know, just strat alike, and um, but there was another thing that, that that on the on the YouTube it said that I'm uh, um, not on YouTube on the on the internet. And it said that this is actually Australian timber, but the guitar is made in Japan. I don't know. Maybe it is. But uh, anyway, I wanted to clean up the frets. As you can see, they're all dull. I wanted to clean them up, clean up the fingerboard. I'm going to take off the uh, the pick guard and I'm going to have a look and see what pickups are underneath it while that's all cleared off there. Pull the bridge up, give it all a really good clean up and, um, and restring it. Bought a pack of these. These reckon they're pretty good strings. Uh, not very expensive. That's the gauge. Tens on the high air, 46 on the, uh, on the low. But, um, yeah, I'll whip these old strings off and um, pull the pick guard up and, uh, and we'll see what we've got. It's got a pretty cool clip on the uh, tube last night. And um, Joe Bonamassa and his effects pedals. Man, I didn't know they made stuff like that. It's incredible. Sent that along to my mate over there and the PT Cruiser and uh, I know he's got pedals because he did a clip of uh, of his board so uh, he liked all that stuff. What's good in here? Nothing that really tells me too much. It's just that it's a solid body obviously. Over there. Yeah, there's a solid body. Now I screwed these in all of well, I screwed I screwed them in a fair whack. I'll give you a squeeze. I screwed them in uh, a fair way so there's a fair bit of tension on those. And um, because I don't use a whammy bar or Tremolo, whatever you want to call it. I've screwed, I've screwed all those ones down, you know, tight so that the bridge is nice and tight. And um, yeah, so once I've done all the intonation and all that stuff, I set to the action and all that other gear. See, um, I'm, and I'm no, I'm no genius at it. I'm still learning. I'm playing 54. I'm still learning, but. Um, I'm sure that you know, cleaning this thing up is going to make it play a lot better, on, especially for a learner, which is exactly what I am. Anyway, we'll whip some more bits off, we'll get the strings off it and get that pick guard off there and we'll see what we got. The serial number on this, as far as I can tell too, is MGS-1. Uh, pull this up, I'm going to pull the neck off it too and see what I can find in there. But Let's just see what we got here. Yep. It's not really anything that can tell me. There's no markings, so I don't think there's any. Uh, there's no markings on the pickups telling me they're anything special. Not even anything on the pots. But it looks like it's been wired up quite nicely. It's obviously. Yeah, solder jobs are nice. 
It's got a cap in there, I don't know what that one is. But, uh, yeah, I thought I might have seen something here. Maybe if I pull the neck up, might be something there. But, um, genius is to, to, to put clips up on how you clean your guitars, lots with the oil and stuff like that. I suppose it's on the, on the darker necks and stuff, but they reckon with these ones, these, these maples, um, window cleaner is the best stuff. I've got some, I've got some win window cleaner stuff. These frets look like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's got some wear in there, isn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna clean them up. And, I'm gonna clean it up and. And see what happens. Clean it up. Yeah. yeah, clean it up and see what happens. It's got a little better, it's got to play better, surely. Yeah, it's a funny thing, isn't it? Guitars and cars are kind of. Most people who are into guitars are into cars, but most people into cars are into guitars. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making an assumption. But, um. That springs worse, shouldn't I? But, uh, yeah. Most people are going to guitar and sing guitars. My brother's into guitars, he's a. He's a wicked axe man. Um, when it comes to cars, he's, he knows where the key hole is. That's about it. But, um, yeah. I said before, Beethoven 3 with his cruiser. And uh, Mr. Blue Roads. If you've been over to Mr. Blue Roads channel, go over there and have a look. He's a crazy old bugger. Sorry, I didn't mean old. But, uh, and he does some crazy stuff. And he's he's actually really good with his editing. He just comes up with these ideas. I don't know where he gets them from, but. He's got to be busy in his, nut, in his head. I'll pull his neck off it now as well. Turn some screws. Maybe there's a marking underneath. I don't know. I unless I have a squeeze. And, uh, I'll certainly get this nice and clean. This is not a how to, it's just, just thought you might find it interesting. You might have a bit of information that you could help me out with too. But, um, yeah, it's, not, it's not a how to, I don't do any instructional, so I just share some of, the, some of the things that I do and some of the places I go to and strange things that I see. And, uh, got drags coming up very shortly. Group 1's out there at Eastern Creek, Sydney Dragway, get some footage of some pretty, pretty awesome machinery out there shortly, so, okay. A bit of blue paint, whatever the bugger that is. Why wouldn't someone? So, I'm gonna clean it up. I'll give you a squeeze when uh, when I've done this bit of it, and uh, I'll see what we got. This is actually what I'm gonna use. Uh, 
But of course, when you're a dad and you've got kids and you've got cars, they always keep buying your stuff to clean the damn things, but they won't clean their own cars. But, uh, I'll give that stuff a bit of a whirl and see what happens. I'm not advertising that brand, by the way. I wouldn't have gone out and bought this. I'd have just used a bit of windscreen clean, window cleaner, but, uh, yeah, gonna give it a polish up and a shine up and see how we go. Yeah, cars and guitars. Rambling around, another guy, cars and guitars. Makes them, by the way, those, uh, that last, uh, little box thing you made, that was awesome, man, it had a great sound. Rambling around, I talked to. Uh, Pete, Southwest, Grouter one. I don't know, maybe it's just uh, That's the way it goes. I used to be into guitars when I was a kid, but girls and cars came along and, uh, and took over. Same reason I gave away soccer. <laughs> Actually, pretty good, huh? Actually, got some old video tapes inside, I think, somewhere. Playing a bit of soccer when I was a kid. Somewhere, I think. In the archives. So, I've got a good converter there that converts, um, converts um, videos and music. Uh, get in there, stay there, bastard. Uh, yeah, it converts uh, your videos and your audio, you know, cassettes and that sort of stuff and converts them over to digital and you convert them on a disc, it's pretty cool stuff, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll break, I'll just uh, get, on with, uh, get on with the next section, clean up the rest of this stuff, I'll put this back together and it should all be sweet for this bit anyways. I'm going to pull the bridge down, but probably lucky I did because those screws in here are actually loose. So, a good idea. I'm going to give it a clip. I've got to set the intonation again anyway, you know, doing all this, so that's no big deal. I watched a bit of YouTube last night too. I saw something funny actually. A character that, uh, some of you guys might know, I'm not going to mention names, but he was complaining about uh, revenue sharing. And uh, he was complaining that, that, that although he's got two videos of his own that, that have been offered for revenue sharing or been, uh, yeah, I guess. For revenue sharing, um, his complaint was that he can't he can't upload videos longer than fifteen minutes, which lots of people do. You have to qualify for that. And of course, what happened to him was that he um, he breached the copyright, so they put a mark against him. <coughs> now, lots of us have uh, put videos up that have got background noises, music, and stuff like that. They're, you know, they're pretty liberal with that now. I, mean, I, had, I had used to have some clips up there that had, especially from out of the drag race, and they had um, you know, background music or something like that when they're doing a parade through, or you know. It was one of those lowriders um, sort of bouncing around on their airbags and stuff like that, and they're playing music in the background, and they actually cut the they cut the audio to it, so that was a bugger. I put that clip down. I don't think I put that up there anymore, but they're pretty liberal with stuff like that now. You know, lots of people putting clips up, but uh, he actually put a footage from the television on there. Uh, 
course, it's copyright, especially with television stations. You can't argue with those guys, you know. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if you read the, read the, the rules, you know, it tells you to be careful what content you put up there. You know, don't put, you make sure all, the, all, your, all this stuff you put up there is yours. Lots of people don't. Lots of people got uh, yeah, other people's. Um, yeah, other people's um, content. Yeah, I sort of mentioned that. I'm standing here doing this. And just sitting there doing that. Yeah, so that bit's done. Got a lot of muck off it. Yeah, chrome's all looking nice and chromed again. My young fellow actually bought a <coughs> bought a guitar the other day from the place where I buy my bits and pieces. And um, he got it for half price because. Um, had a chip, had a big chip in it, in it. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's sort of half a Gibson, half a, yeah, it's kind of Gibson-ish, I suppose, but, uh, right along one edge, had a big crunch in it. I, I spoke to Pete from Southwest, oh, sorry, 52 two-door wagon, and, uh, he told me what they said, it's polyurethane that they put on there, the coating, so it's you know it's pretty much I could clean it up for him and uh, and coat it up in polyurethane. Should never should never uh, uh, probably wouldn't even notice that a bit of been done. I'm thinking I might just I've got two I've got two little marks. Got that one there. Oh, didn't like it when you get a bit close there. There's another one there. Two little chips. There's actually another one right there, but. I can barely see that. But those two chips, I think what I'll do is I'll um, I'll get some of that urethane and I'll um, I might just drop a couple of drops in there and see if I can smooth it out and level it out. Anyway, so that bit's done. I think that looks heaps better. The white's nice and white again. The chrome's nice and chrome. And um, when I put it all back together, I'll do the body and you know, clean all the fingerprints off. Okay, so I'll put that to the side. Remember I was, I was saying a little earlier about the kid just bought a guitar and him and his mates are pretty keen to get together and his girl's going to sing and there's uh, her girlfriend's going to drum. She's already got a kit. Um, one of his other mates is going put to put the, get a bass happening. But um, you know that Xbox guitar hero thing? And he's crazy at it. He's absolutely... He's, he's got some good r ranks up there um, if anyone plays. Um, SUNV Edge is what his um, username is. But anyway, there was a pub not so long ago held a, um, a uh, Guitar Hero Van Halen. That's when the Van Halen series came out. The Guitar Hero, if anyone is aware, you know, aware of that sort of stuff. And, um, I reckon he came second, but everyone else says he came first. He did bit, much, much better. He got better points, but there's some there's some sort of jargon that went on involved with it too. Why they chose the other guy? The other guy only lasted for 40 seconds or something, and uh, and Harley lasted. I can't remember. Uh, at the end of the song, I think. But, um, anyway. Um. So I'm cleaning up the neck. <clears throat> and I didn't know what I was going to use to clean the fret bar, the uh, actual frets themselves. But um, I bought some of this in my uh, while back. Probably seen it. Cotton polished and wad wadding. Um, it's for all sorts of metals, and you know, as it says there, for polishing all sorts of metals. So I figured that wouldn't be too bad. And if you've never seen that, it's actually made by. Maserati, yes, the motor company. So, 
So I found a use for it because it's. I bought it actually for my. Do the Chevy wheels, but. I use a different product for them. I use uh, Auto Salt. But, um. Just give you a look. I've done one. It's nice and shiny up here. I've done one. You can see the difference there. The first, first one, look how shiny there. It's nice. Nice and shiny there. Of course, these are the ones I haven't done yet. So that comes up pretty cool. Um, just with the window cleaner after I did that to get some of the black off that was left on behind it. Just used a little bit. And so, uh, yeah. Get on to do the rest of them now. I'm just using a tiny little bit. Like you really got the muck that's coming off. And of course, when we go down here, because these are these are these are pretty filthy. Um, some of the, you know, it's dead skin. <laughs> it's going to be grease because you know that's what I do. But uh, yeah, dead skin. Dead skin and rust. Got this woman next door, she's out there. She, whenever the workmen come along, she puts on a fucking makeup. And she fucking puts on fucking dresses scantily, if you know what I mean. And uh, prances around in front of all the workmen. <laughs> it's a laugh, we chuckle every time. As soon as I made my lawn too, she's out knowing hers. On her dirt. Should be able to see the difference there. That's cool. Anyway, we'll do the rest of it. Shine him up. I'm trying to wax some springs, uh, some string springs, some strings on uh, and, uh, and turn him up. This is getting real tedious, but hey, in the end, the result's going to be really, really good. <coughs> it doesn't matter how much you rub with this stuff, but you seem to get more and more and more tarnish off. So, uh, it's, uh, is it overkill? I don't know. I don't think so. Just keep breaking up a new bit. Give it a wipe over with the. Uh, give it a wipe over with the window cleaner. It's not hard to see where I've been, that's for sure. Just a polish over this nice little soft cloth. Awesome. Much nicer. Yeah. That'd be cool. Anyway, this is going to take a bit of time, so uh, can't do what you got to do. Uh, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. And. Uh, Back soon. The boys that watch um, <clears throat> used to 
Blu ray channel. What do you think about Cooney Mooney lips, eh? Cooney Mooney lips. No, I don't mind wild, wild animals, they're, they're quite good. Ferals are just, you know, domesticated. And people let their cats out. <coughs> well, you know, I'm not fussy about them. They've got a few doors down with their cats, climbing all over the car, but, you know, wildlife, I love wildlife. Like, you know, like Cooney Looney's still alive there. Looks like it's going to stay up for a bit. It's a good thing. If you haven't been over there, he's got, if, you, if, you, if, you, you know, if you're watching this and you're wondering who I'm talking about, it's the Blue Rads. There's a link on my channel. They're really, I don't know, what would you call it? Yeah, it's original, I guess. The original. Uh, Oldsmobile. Belly Girl. You guys out there too I haven't seen your cars on my on the shoe for a bit. Caddy Fag, yes, you're a caddy gun. I haven't seen that on there for a while, bud. I want to see an update of what you've been up to with that. Gareth David Webb. How you going, bud? Fellow Aussie. How's that falcon coming along, mate? Haven't seen anything about that for a while. I'm just going to sleep this shit on there and uh, I'll know where I'm up to. Yeah. Anyway. You guys, um, you got, uh, get some clips up, I want to see how you're going with your cars, please. I don't know what colour you got to paint it up. That's going to be a pretty trick looking thing. Certainly one off. Anyway, I'll stop wasting your time and I'll uh, get on with this. There you go. All done. Shine. But yeah, you know, that, that come up nicely. Focus. Uh, they shine up. I don't even know what they're made of. I don't know if they're stainless or what they're. Just the rings cut out of bloody old dog food tins. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, now that made a big difference. About an hour and a half, oh no, it wouldn't be that, probably, oh, yeah. alright. Oh, yeah. Doesn't take me long though. And, uh, yeah, 22 pieces of, um, cotton wadding. So I'll slip this together now and um, I've noticed it's a bit stickier in the back of the in the back of the fretboard there. I'm just wondering whether or not what, what's a good thing to whack on there to slippery that up a bit because my hands are fairly rough and stuff like that. But for my snooker cue I usually use a bit of 1500 uh, where to dry. Um, just dry, dry sand and rub it and uh, it works good on my snooker cube but uh, 
Yeah, I don't know what to do about the back of that or I might end up having to sand it. If anyone's got a tip for me on that, that'd be great. And, uh, yeah. I'll come back when I'm ready to whack the strings in, I guess. Well, this is a handy thing, I don't know. Ball ends. I'll put the colours on so you know what string is what. Those strings I pulled out of this, they just were all. You know, silver, I guess. Except for the high E, which had a brass coloured ball on the tail, I don't know. But at least we've got a match set of strings now, put them on and. Um, yeah, getting closer. This will let you know how much of a newbie I am with this. This is my first restring, by the way. See these little here? I thought they were vents. You probably might have noticed a bit earlier on that I had springs. You know, those bridge holes, the spring holes. The springs. And I realised that that's so you can just restring over there and pull this back thing off. So I put the, the springs back in the place that they should have been, but they weren't. Originally, I don't think they were in the correct holes to start with. But, uh, yeah. I don't think they were in the correct holes to start with. Uh, I'm having a bit of learning. I like to learn. Nice. Not really a lot of drop coming off it, but it was a it was a bit the uh, neck obviously. Maybe I need another piece of that damper. Although it's not very hot out here today, it's probably about ten o'clock in the morning or something like that. <coughs> On Friday. Um, it's actually overcast but yeah, this stuff. Not that it's actually got alcohol in it, it's just uh, whatever, whatever the stuff is, it, it evaporates rather rapidly. Just a bit more we go over in the front here where I've got the gaudy fingerprints. Come up pretty good. Get our new springs on. Nice and shiny in the bridge. Uh, it's got a nice piece of wood there. Nice piece of wood. All those lovely frets now. Yeah. Tuners. I didn't want to get too big a string either because I didn't know whether they were going to fit in a nut. But these ones should fit, these been only tens. Uh, so I think it should be pretty fine, but yeah. Not too badly. There we go. I gave my boy back his, because um, he bought his guitar, I gave my boy back his, um, his stand. This one's a different one, this one actually hangs from the top. It's not you know, supported around there. Hangs from the top. I had to bend all this in, I had to bend this bend these in because it actually was hitting on the tuna of this this one here. But yeah, there we go. There she is. And just to go and check the neck, tune him up, intonation. And uh 
thing on it should be pretty good because I didn't mix up. Oh, well, I'll just have to check it again anyway. But it's been uh, been a fun morning for me. Have yourselves a good one. I might have something interesting for you next time. Check out those boys too. I was talking about earlier on. The, uh, yeah, check them out. Nice guys. Anyway. Pretty sweet. That was sure a good one. That was fair. How's your finger going, bud? Your thumb? You remember when I banged that? Yeah. I don't know. The nail's going to come off it. But, uh, yeah. Have a good one. See ya.